Hola. Hey there, friendlies. Uh, today is the 22nd of May, which means that yesterday I turned 50. It's kind of hot out. Oh, wind. Here's hoping that that wind muff is working. Uh, so what do I have for you guys today? Uh, while I spend a little quality time by myself in the woods, I have three Canadian made buck sauce. I figured I would do like maybe a little roundup. Uh, what do I have? I have the Boreal 21 by Agawa Canyon. This is a very well-known buck saw in the bushcraft community. Um, a lot of bushcrafters that we all know and love use this saw. We have the original buck saw by Bear Outdoors, Bear Outdoors Essentials. Um, this was saw number 114 back when he was just getting started. I believe this is the mahogany. And I have this one by Jody over at Maple Maid. Very, very nice saw. I think this one is cherry, but I'm not entirely sure. So what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm just gonna get more comfortable, first of all. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of sawing, then I'm gonna give you my thoughts. I'm not gonna talk too much about the cutting power of the blades because only one of these companies, I believe, makes its own blades. Uh, I'm not sure about the Maple Maid. This is a Baco on the uh, Barrett Doors Essentials. So, I mean, I don't believe that it's, it's a good concept to be necessarily talking about the blades themselves. I'm just gonna do a little cutting and talk to you about what I like and maybe dislike about each saw. Will I come up with a favorite? Probably not, I like all these saws, but you know, I may surprise myself. All right, let's do a little bit of cutting. Okay, so I got some thoughts uh, about all three of these. All three of them have strengths and all three of them have weaknesses. Man, this is with bug spray on, give me a break. In ease of setup, this one takes takes the first prize. It's so simple. Set her up, shut her down for the night. Simple, simple, look what I'm doing. It, it's one big foldy piece, nothing to lose. Oops. I did cut myself here, guys. So that's, you know, the Agua, definitely first prize in terms of ease of setup and takedown, absolutely. The second on that is definitely going to be the Bear Outdoors Essentials. It's nice how it's got these little straps that when you fold it up, uh, everything sort of, well, I mean, it's still two pieces, right? This is separate from the rest, but everything else folds into one little package and you can slip this baby into those two wooden straps which keeps it nicely closed it's very nice the one from jody uh you got to really reef on the on the power cord to get it over uh 
and then you're, I'm going to have to refund it to get it back off. Uh, it's nice and tight though. Very simple, very, very traditional, right? Everything is separate piece. Like the blade and these two handles fold into one, but then this is a separate piece. These, this is a separate piece. The bag that I bought off of him back when he was getting started had a little separate bag for these pieces as well. In terms of use, I noticed that I got hot spots off of this one the fastest. Something about the way that handle is when it's, look, when it's set up. Whoop. Let's do this without cutting ourselves. Okay, that was not safe, Jesse. Take a look at that handle, okay? That's a ridge there that when I have it in my hand, and I'd never noticed that before now, but it's because I've only ever used these saws in a camp setting, right? Cutting up a couple of little pieces of wood for campfire, whatever. I'm gonna be editing this down to like a five or 10 minute video, I hope, but I've been out here for a while cutting pieces of wood. This one gave me a hot spot uh, the fastest. I guess I kinda, it, it's hard to say, cause once I've got a hot spot, it's hard to say what's exacerbating and what's not, but I think, it's hard to say. Cause near the end there, I was having real trouble getting through a log. Um, I think this one was the second hotspot king. Something about the narrowness. This bear outdoors is very nicely put together. It's very ergonomic. Like it's, I'm not sure if you can see that, but there's like a shape there. Mild, I mean, maybe it could be better, but it's pretty good. Um, now, in terms of uh, cutting stuff, 21, right? Twenty-four, I think. I'll check on that later, and if I'm wrong, it'll be right there. So, this is also twenty-one. So I have two twenty-ones, and I believe I believe the maple made is a is a twenty-four. In terms of my general impressions of these three saws, this is definitely the most innovative one. Okay, the ease of flipping this open and closed epic when it takes no time at all uh, I wish something different could be done here though uh, however if I'm wearing gloves that's not gonna be an issue I don't think so I like that uh, this one also has the tightest or tautest blade which is nice uh, now they make their own blades I believe or they have them made for them so I'm sorry, I hope we're not getting blown out here. Um, so that makes it kind of easier to make everything fit to perfection, but it's a real benefit because when you're sawing through, especially something large, uh, a wobbly blade can create curves, which can create um, fatigue while you're try just trying to saw through the damn log and it's going all wonky. Uh, so that's, that's a couple of wins for that one. For the bare essentials one, it's very nicely made. I like how this is a very, a very traditional format, but still has some uh, nice touches, some nice innovations. You know, as I said, the uh, the straps here, which help you sort of fold everything up. Like if I was to just pop this baby back open, there we go. It folds up like this. Slip this through there. Okay and then just wrap this around. And then it goes into the pocket. Now with Jody's, the Maple Maid, um, this is the most traditional of the three. Like this is straight up tradition, okay? And I like that. I like how this is the one that when I'm using it, I kind of feel like I should be standing here in like jeans and a, a plaid lumberjack shirt you know this has old school old time appeal in spades and i just love it this one was definitely the hardest to put together because this is so nice and tight so to undo it very traditional like man once you get this loose enough slip it out don't lose it That was a lot easier than I was expecting. I guess what happens is this will sort of loosen up a little bit over time. Maybe I haven't been using my buck saws as much as I should. 
slip that off. Nice tight fit, by the way. Um, I believe, if I remember correctly, he's made it subtly so that it is directioned. There is one end that goes in each. There we go, hold on. A little schmutz, because I was accidentally sawing right into the ground over there. Now this one folds up with the blades on the inside, which is a little more protective than the bare, than the bare one, but you know, everyone their own design, right? There you go. And again, I bought the extra case for this. The Agawa is not as tall as the other two, uh, which is really nice. Like when I was cutting a larger log over there and there were some branches, low hanging branches over it, that one got caught up in the branches less than the others. Uh, so that's a benefit of their design. I have noticed that sometimes I wish it was a little taller, like that there was more of a standoff between the top bar and the blade. Because if I'm cutting something that's too big, it, it sort of bottoms up. But I mean, that's, the others do that too. Look, is there a clear winner here? Uh, no. I, I think they're all nice in different ways. The one I grab for the most is the Agawa, just because it's easy to open up like fast. Also for the Agawa, I bought the kit with uh, three other blades and changing blades on this thing is dead easy, right? It's a clip that you fling off, you, you take out the blade, you put in the other one, and then you put the clips back on. Don't lose the clips, but it does come with extras just in case you do, because I lose everything. So, I mean, really a nice package. You can buy this just as the bear saw as well. Save a little money that way. But the difference in price is not really huge or it's noticeable but it's not one is affordable and the other is not you know so look i'm happy to have all of these um what i would like to know is which one you guys would like to see more in my videos these guys will all sell outside of canada um, the prices look when i bought the two wooden ones they were at introduction pricing of 150 each. I think they're close to two something now, whereas the Agawa Canyon, you're sitting right around 100 to 150, I believe for the 21, depending on whether you take the saw or the whole package. But I mean, it's definitely the most affordable of the bunch. It's not the one that's handmade in somebody's garage. Uh, the other two guys are, they make every saw, you know, they're throwing their work and their effort into it. So of course, I think that's a good buy. So yeah, I think that's about it. That's all I really wanted to say. As I always say, if you like what I'm doing, then please do the following three things. One, comment down below. Which of these saws are you the most interested in? Uh, two, please share this video. That helps me more than you could possibly imagine. And three, leave me a smiley thumb. If you don't like what I'm doing, that's all right. Leave me a frowny thumb. Thanks for watching, guys.